atrial fibrillation. AFib is so common. It's associated with increasing age, with hypertension, with ischemic or valvular disease, cardiomyopathy, hyperthyroid intoxication, PE, or it can often be idiopathic. This is an EKG example where you have a narrow complex, irregularly irregular rhythm. The management, if they're unstable, is DC cardioversion, synchronized cardioversion. If they're stable, and it's acute onset, then in theory, cardioversion is an option, either pharmacologically or with synchronized electricity. <laughs> if it's more than 48 hours, then you need to confirm that there's no clots that have developed. So you need a TEE to make sure there are no thrombi that will then get ejected in theory when you convert back to a normal rhythm. If it's unknown time of onset, which to be honest is the most common, then you want to rate control with an AV nodal blocking agent like a calcium channel blocker, a beta blocker, or a little more old school, you could use digoxin. You can use the CHAD score to predict the risk of a stroke within a, a year, and the HASBLED score to predict the risk of bleeding with anticoagulation. So there's risks and benefits of anticoagulation, and the CHADs and the HASBLED can help you determine the best option for each patient. And then you can consider anticoagulation. Maybe it's an aspirin, or maybe that patient is gonna start on a DOAC or warfarin, et cetera.